2024. y'all back.
Well, I apologize if that thing turned off. Like I said, probably should have played better with the camera and brought something that I know more about down here. But that's what I just had to come around because of the 4 by 4s wallering out the road. And now I've got my other one. And if I'm seeing right, we're about that far down the road here. We're not went far. So up here on top of the ridge, we should be bearing off to the left, going down to Satan's lair. We shall see as we motivate on little ways. What I'm considering doing is this road goes down through here and then it hooks back in to Middle Fork or something like that which goes over on into Coal Hill down at the end of Cane Creek that we just went by a while ago. And uh, once it gets by Cane Creek, or it gets to Cane Creek, take the Cane Creek Tail back to Ball Rock or the picnic area. So that's possibly a, a trip worth taking in the next little bit. Look at this mess. I definitely, definitely like to have their four-wheeling fun. So. But the good news is, two legs, we can walk a little ways. getting close to a ridge line let's see what the maps is yep we're not too far right here satan's lair coming up on the left i do believe now again how this got its name I don't know. Uh, at one time, I had it in my mind that someone uh, was stayed down here. And they said that the person that was staying down here was trying to evade capture from law enforcement. I don't no, can't confirm that to be true, but if it is, maybe someone could uh, let us know. You see right here where we're at, and there's a cavity, I do believe, right here underneath us, and the trail goes down this way to go to it, so we're going to go down here and hopefully we're going to have no sleeping bears to wake up but watch our feet steps and get down through here a little ways and voila interesting very interesting I hope the camera can pick it up. Looks like it gets some water in it right here. I guess it drips down from the top. But uh, interesting little overhang. Place for a fire. They've had fire there before. and Overlooking the valley floor. Right down through there. So 
You might be able to see. Short man like me can stand up. Some of you tall people probably wouldn't be able to. Let's see if I can find me another light. Yeah. Shouldn't have no better to come down here without a flashlight. Especially if we're going to a place called Satan's Lair. I'll get my camera out and try to take some other still pictures. Maybe it'll pick it up. So. Let me put you over here. Set you down. We'll see what we can find out. It does echo a little bit right here. It's interesting. Whoops. Sorry about that. Let's put you back up right now where you can see better. That's not too bad. I don't know how the camera is going to pick it up, but be a good way to stay the storm if you needed to. Might get a little water. It looks like right there, but back here it appears to be very dry. Interesting, interesting rather. Really didn't even know it was even ever here. Let's see if I can, hopefully, the, again. Forgive me if the camera doesn't pick it up good. But, uh, little holes here, the little shelves. I'd say some been so far back here a couple times. And, a little pot right there and a skillet and a what have you. So interesting little tidbit. Some big people in here too. Big feet print. Again, this was supposedly had a guy that was supposed to be in the fugitive from the wall. Stayed down here in, they said, in a cliff or a cave. They said in a cave in, at Cold Hill. And this is the closest thing that I can find to a cave that I've ever seen in my traverses down here. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that little uh, snid bit of stuff. And uh, definitely going to come back here and maybe uh, hang out. Don't know how snake you'd be in the summertime. And many people probably thinking, you've been here all your life and didn't know that place was there? But that's okay too. I enjoyed finding the location and then coming out here and checking it. So, harder to get up and down this little hill here than I expected it to do. Alright, let's go on around the road a little less. We was right here, we was down below. And I probably drove through here on a four-wheeler and never even realized it was down there. Because he really wouldn't. But he sure is some pretty area. Beautiful place down here. Beautiful. Snaky place down here in the summertime, I'm sure. Used to be anyway. Makes me wonder if there used to be an old homestead here somewhere. There's some flower looking stuff. Hmm, that's interesting.
Let's walk on down a little ways and see what we got. There's supposed to be another, according to the trail map, arch down here. Monkey skull or something like that. I'm not sure how far down through here. I'm not even sure, 100% sure if it, I think it is on down this road. But, uh, don't have location on it. Other than the trail maps that they've got for the Sheltoy Trace hiking shows it on there. And, uh, interesting. Nice little day. Cool day be walking we're still on road 4166 according to the forestry maps if my maps data is correct that is I didn't bring I did bring a paper map but I printed it I've got my old paper maps at home too I place for a marker paper maps at home I was getting ready to say and that's a forestry service marker I wonder what that's for I thought all this was forestry land this is private land some of it down here maybe if y'all know uh, it's a bearing tree there's a marker there Y'all know, let me know in the comments. This may all be private land. I was expecting it to be uh, public forestry land. Won't go too much farther, but if all the road walking was like this, or the trail walking was like this, it wouldn't be too bad a hike over to Cane Creek. And when you know it, phone service down here. Huh. Never would have thunk it. Anyhow. Starting to snow a little bit on a cool January 1st morning, 2024. Dropped my camera a while ago. I was going back over into the layer to take some other pictures and it come uh I started sliding a little bit, and it went off the, off my belly, into the, into the, onto the ground, but I hope it's still working. It appears to be. Definitely going to come back and try this again when we uh, can go on over the hill. Just about five miles to, I think. Two and a half, about, about two and a half miles to, to, uh, the Cane Creek Trail. It cuts off just past, or just before, where they, uh, stock the trout, trout streams. The, can't talk, my tongue's getting twisted. Anyway. Good little, uh, good little excursion. And, uh, let's head back over toward the Jeep. That phone call was somebody want me to come meet them, so may have to cut this little video a little shorter. But anyway, we'll head back out toward the Jeep, and uh, I'll catch you if I see anything. If not, I'll catch you on the road on the way back out might stop and at least take a few pictures of the arches so as always I appreciate you coming along and uh, hope you like this sort of tomfoolery if you do be sure to let all your friends know what kind of a nut goes out on New Year's Day a day off and hit 30 degrees and snowing to make a video. I'm that kind of a nut. 
I enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy it too. And as always, you're welcome to come with us. And uh, if you can't get out, enjoy it yourself. I hope you enjoy it through our camera lens. So, let's head on back up the road just a little bit and uh, catch y'all back after I take a little bit of water and, and uh, get on the get on the road headed back toward Daylight Rock. Made it back into the Jeep. There comes somebody on the ham radio. I may have to make the contact. Let's see here. I can't get out of here. Hello, Kelly. W4WXR on the foot mobile handheld. Now that's okay, I just got back in the Jeep and come down here to Daniel Boone and took me a little hike, shot me some video, and I'm getting ready to head back out. So, just wondering if the portable is working. Yes, apparently it is, so that's a good deal. Yes, sir, working good. Uh, I can tell that uh, you're not on the same radio, it's not as loud, uh, but it's clean and everything's good. Good deal. Good deal. Very good. Very good. We'll pick it back up there and get somebody. I'm getting ready to drive a little bit. So, heard you in there and I thought I'd give you a holler. So, we'll catch you again here soon, hopefully. W4WXR. Roger, roger. Be careful out there and have a good Have fun today. Uh, instead of waking up and hanging for you, we've been having fun today. Yeah, I, don't, I never woke up with a hangover, so I'm having fun. It's snowing down here in the woods, that's for sure. So, all right, Kelly, I gotta, I gotta concentrate on the old road here. There's a bunch of jeeps down here running around, so I gotta watch for them. So we'll catch you again soon, and uh, I'll try to post a video so you can watch it. Maybe to at least post some pictures that I took. So have a good one. We'll talk to you in a while. Seven three K out for R and D. And I'm not ignoring y'all. Just trying to uh, send some messages. And that's one of my other hobbies, adventures, if you want to call it. And we'll be shooting some videos probably later on for that too. But oh, I just do a little bit of everything and a whole lot of nothing. Work and this is my enjoyment. So. But anyway. Let's uh, let's see if I can get buckled up and head back up the road. I've got to get me a windshield mount for this Jeep or for whatever. I'm gonna get me one of them suction cup mounts and see how that works. Anyway, y'all got one and which one does the best? Let me know. That way I won't waste my money because I'm pattering that bark on that tree over on certain things. But anyway, enjoyed the little walk down the woods and headed back up the road. So, uh, if anything happens, I'm going to get out and maybe take some pictures up here. And then if anything else happens, I'll uh, shoot some more video. 